Oh, I'm always feeling rusty. That's a part of my charm. Um, <laughs> but at least you know what works. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's better without practice, typically. But yeah. I I'm I'm not I got a lot of words in the songs and I'm really yeah. crap at remembering them all so mm-hmm. that's the part that I need to practice. Yeah. Well, speaking of heaps of words, I want to jump straight in and talk about difference of opinion. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> there's a whole heap of words in that song. That's my favorite one on the album. Can Hell you tell yeah. me how did it come about? Um, I was working at a pub, like a little country pub at the time, and there was probably like a group of like 12 like, old lads and each day they'd come to the pub at like 11 o'clock every morning and like there'd be no there'd be no like text messages or phone calls to be like hey I'll meet you at the pub they just knew that like <laughs> that was it that time that was every the day and if like one of them didn't see each other they kind of like ask around and like it was a really small town so they'd like ask people around town and be like oh have you seen like Pete I haven't seen him this morning and then someone would be like, oh, heard he's like got this on. So it was like a real like community kind of thing. One of them was like the local garbage man. So like he'd run around and, you know, do do the rounds each morning mm. um, and he'd kind of check in on all the crew. But anyway, so the song came about that like I just found it really interesting that in like this small town where the pub was kind of like the church and – you know, that was their community. It all based, was, like, built and based around this pub. Like, this group of people would get together every day and find something different to argue about. Yeah, okay. But they were mates. They were all mates, but, you know, like, all of their... Like, it felt like sometimes they didn't even believe in what they were arguing about. <laughs> like, their points that they were trying to make, they just would, like, kind of do it just for the sake of conversation, which yeah. I thought was, like... Kind of like a real, like, sweet, like, bit, like, almost romantic thing. I mean, I guess it's better than small talk. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. And, like, some of their opinions would fucking twisted, but, yeah. you know, it was, like, interesting that they'd, like, conjure them up. And I just thought it was really interesting that uh, this difference of opinion that they all had, which is, like, they kind of thrived off, and mm-hmm. that was, like, what kind of kept them going. Um, so I, I thought it was, like, a funny, like, just little little silly meaning to the song but I think like once I'd kind of delved into it and started writing the song more it became like a bit more um what's the word like kind of prolific in the sense that like I don't know like it's like the first line like a difference of opinion is what makes the world go around yeah so like everyone has their it's opinion. true yeah, yeah. Like, it all stemmed from just like a bunch of old blokes like arguing about like the amount of chips that are in a Smith's packet, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <right. laughs> um, Did and you it, ever get involved in these? Arguments? Yeah, yeah. They were like they were my mates as yeah, well. Okay. So like, you know, at, at the same time, like I'd I'd do the open shifts, and as soon as I was done, I'd go drink with them. But yeah, um, yeah, and they're all great, great people. Like, you know, very um, of their surroundings, but like honest, lovely, humble people. You can really hear that story in the song. Yeah, yeah. And there's like a few like lines in the song that's, uh, that's, that, that are like quotes from what they've said. Yeah, but. wow. <laughs> that's brilliant. So, yeah. Yeah, so with the music video, that was filmed <laughs> in one take, right, from what I've – or not one take, sorry, but one shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, one shot. And yeah. in slow-mo or – how did it work? Like it's – in slow motion, mm. but in order to do it slow motion, you have to do it. You have to play the song like double, double time. Yeah. Um. So I think all of the crap that happens in the video happened in the space of like a minute and twenty seconds. Wow. And I just sing really, really quickly. With but all those lyrics too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. So yeah, and I'd gotten off a plane from like Perth at like 7 a.m. that morning and I was like a little bit hungover and real dusty, which I think like, you know, kind of adds to the yeah the charm of what the song's about. But yeah, it wasn't easy. No. Did you have to <laughs> practice doing it in double time? Um, I was meant to, but... <laughs> it didn't happen. <laughs> I got carried away. <laughs> yeah, it was real fun. And we shot it out at um, Adamstown... Um, at the at the outdoor velodrome. Yeah, okay. I haven't um, been there before. 
it's a cool spot man it's like it's it's weird it's like i don't know you think like velodrome when i hear velodrome i think it's going to be like kind of like some pristine yeah establishment mm-hmm. but it's just like this ghetto like concrete ring um it's like a bit like spooky but it's real cool i need to check it out yeah That's really cool yeah. whereabouts is it Kind of like, I don't know, there's like what a big football field and like all these big like rec kind of zones. Mm. Um, and then there's just this random fucking velodrome. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just in case. Yeah, which is like real bizarre. <laughs> um, but I guess it gets used. Like yeah. We met, we met a couple of characters when we were out there filming. Um, there's this one guy um, who pulled up and he was like covered in blood. No way. Yeah, and he was like, oh, what's going on here? And I was like, what's going on with you? <laughs> and he was like, just some local guy who had, he was like, oh, I was on my way here and I, a dog ran out and I fell off my bike and like oh. now I'm all fucked up. Wow. And so, <laughs> so like, I had a case of beers in an esky and I was like, do you want to have a beer and a chat? Yeah. And he was like, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, we're filming a video. Do you want to be in it? So. Is he in it? Yeah, yeah. He called a few crew over and um, because he's just with like the local kind of like park community there and stuff. And yeah, they were they're all real good. Yeah, I'd love to know. Dorothy painted portraits um, was in the top ten vinyl albums like when it first came out, which would have been pretty (laughs) surreal, right? Like up next to Taylor Swift, Pink Floyd, The Wiggles, and um, Nick Cave was even up there too. How did that feel? Um, Pretty special. I mean. Yeah, it's, I mean, that, like, yeah, it was cool. It was a surreal thing. Um, yeah, like, I, 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 I try not to pay too much attention to, like, Aria crap and, like, you know, charts and stuff. Yeah. And But, like, because, like, I don't know, it's, like, all just, like, numbers at the end of the day. And it's, like, I guess you can kind of gauge, like, what that – truly means to people but you also can't really like you know the totally the best part about making music is like having conversations with people and you know knowing about them and like I don't think that so much correlates to like a chart of how many records you sell yeah but that all being said Bonnie it was pretty mad Mm. to like see it in there of Um, course and like super special but it's yeah, like and especially to be there in there with like you know Nick Cave and yeah. the Wiggles, a couple of heroes of mine. Yeah. Um, and like you know the seven Taylor Swift albums that were on it as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. like. Literally, <laughs> I was having to scroll back to try and make sure like I hadn't got the dates mixed up or something. And it's just Taylor Swift in every single chart. Yeah, like, I think if if that's a gauge of like how oh. you know. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But yeah, it's cool. It's it's great to know that like people give a crap enough to buy the buy the vinyl. Yes. You know, that's amazing to me. And how's the personal reception of it been? Like have you been able to have chats with people that have heard it or Um I've had a few like? here and there. It's kind of been like it was a bit of a funny one cuz like I kind of like put it out and then like it was like that December period and mm. I try not to spend too much time on the internet in general but especially around like this family time. So like I kind of like tapped out of, uh, you know, like getting the feedback but I think that's kind of like what I'm most excited for about this tour that starts in two days. Like yeah. Because um, I've kind of been like in a bubble, you know, so it'll be like really cool to see – how people have received it you know and like that's part of my favorite part about playing shows is like you know the chats you have afterwards and you know I'm not one of those people who just like crawl crawl into the green room and like yeah. <laughs> duck off hide under a table or something <laughs> no. but yeah like we'll see but so far it's been amazing yeah um, you know I think like people my favorite part is that like when people understand like where like the the records coming from mm. you know and the songs come from that's that's special and even if they don't understand what, like where I came from it like if if they like have their own interpretation that's also really cool yeah um, so I love when I get to hear that from people is there anything in particular that you hope listeners take away from this album um 
It's a good question. No, nah, not really. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope they enjoy it, you know. Yeah, um, yeah. Whatever they take away from it, like, I hope that's sacred to them, you know. Because mm. they're like, you know, they're, they're all sacred to me for my own reasons. Yeah. So like, you know, and I'm not going to go out there crapping on about my re- what it means <laughs> to me. Like, it's more about what it means to <laughs> you yeah (laughs) beautiful all right well you're at king street this friday with uh sitting down and woofer yeah i hadn't heard of woofer before um they're pretty cool i hadn't heard of them up until recently when like until we were like looking for supports for this show um and they're 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 young they i mean yeah they're, they're like a young band pretty pretty fresh um and just got put onto them from through like mates of mates but they got a sick sound and I don't know, like it's, I love getting like young, younger up and coming bands because mm. I'm a bit of a seasoned road dog. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I don't know, it's just sick to have like fresh energy in and around shows, you know, like mm. I'm keen to meet them. I haven't, I haven't officially met them yet. Um, and sitting down, uh, rad. Yeah, they're so good. Um, yeah, you, yeah. They're sick. <laughs> they are sick. <laughs> well, look, I can't wait to see the show uh, this Friday night at King Street. Yeah. And I heard tickets are going pretty fast, right? Yeah, it's um, it's pretty close to being sold out, actually. Yeah, I think cool. there's like less than 50 left, which is Whoa, that's real awesome. Cool. Yeah. yeah. It'll um, be such a good energy in that room, like, because it's quite compact. Yeah. Um, but, like, in a good way. There's still a lot of people that can get in there. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if they got anything else on at King Street that night. Do you know? Down in the other room? <laughs> Hopefully not. Can I say that? <laughs> I kind of hope there is. You know, when it's just like everything's going on and the whole place yeah. is like heaving. It's a, uh, yeah. Full <laughs> entertainment. It's crazy. Entertainment mecca. <laughs> it is. It's a, a smorgasbord <laughs> yeah, of <yeah>. people. <laughs> when you walk out of the room from the band room upstairs, the warehouse, and um, go down the hall, it's just. <laughs> There's so many different past energies. Nightclub zone. Crazy, <laughs> so crazy. A lot of fun though. Yeah, it was funny when I, I went there for the um, like I think the soft opening it was or whatever. Yeah. That one that I played at, and um, we we're doing a walkthrough of the venue, and I was like, oh, the downstairs is pretty cool. <laughs> and he took me to the upstairs, and I was like, oh yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. And then I got to the middle, like the club zone, and I was like, this is fucking mad so like, cool hey this is so rad. but then they're like oh dog this is the only bit that hasn't changed oh really <laughs> i didn't yeah. know that because i haven't been to like king street before um this the, yeah know, yeah right, right right takeover yeah yeah um, were you did you ever go no not no i don't think so for me it was like when like before i lived in newcastle whenever i'd, whenever I'd come it'd be like you know like i just did like you you, you staples like Cambo then like the yeah. last and like my knowledge outside of like those couple shows or like those like venues didn't really exist yeah um so now it's cool like like I've always like now that I live here I get to like explore all these cool <laughs> new places yeah, I still haven't partied it up in um the like middle floor and I really want to because it has that cage. Yeah, 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 it looks that's, really cool. That's the that's what got me going. Yeah. Maybe this Friday it could be. Yeah, kick-ons Maybe. at King Street. <laughs> it's a one-stop shop. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for spending some time Cheers, with us. Bunny. So good to catch up. Thanks.